A lot of people are intimidated by Excel and there's really no reason to be. In fact, Excel can make your life a lot easier. It can make uh, tackling a large data project easier and your results more accurate. The goal of this video is just to give you a quick introduction to Excel and the main goal is to really get you comfortable to the point where you would be willing to open an Excel sheet and uh, work with the data and formatting to make it work for you. So today we'll cover usability by looking at the freeze panes function, cell resizing, and scrolling. Also we will tackle some simple presentation issues, uh, namely cell color, cell borders. Uh, we will use the format paintbrush and I will show you how to move between worksheets, label those tabs, and um, change the color of the tabs. What I have here is a hypothetical grade sheet. A grade sheet is an excellent application uh, for the Excel software. When you open a worksheet, it may not be formatted in a very user-friendly way. For instance, this sheet has really wide labels. By grabbing and dragging the scroll bar at the bottom, I can see there's a lot of data in here that can't be seen at first blush. Also, if I grab the vertical scroll bar on the right side and scroll, I can see there are a lot of students in this file. Simply by hitting control and using my scroll on my mouse, I can resize the data that way. However, the numbers get really small and then really large again. To resize any individual column, I can take the mouse between the two columns, click down and drag, or there's a better way. I can actually highlight several columns at once and double click on that in that same location right between the columns. And now I have all of this information here. Uh, you may be a little uncomfortable with the width. You can also grab several columns and drag, click and drag the mouse between those columns and resize them all at once. So now we have some reasonably sized columns and uh, but we still have this issue of if I scroll down to look at other students I lose track of what the columns are labeled. In order to fix this we can highlight the second row of data go to the view tab and choose freeze panes and the first freeze pane panes option will work here. And now you can see you can scroll through all of the data and while keeping your labels at the top. We still have the issue, however, if I scroll to the right, I lose the student identifier. That's easily fixable. We'll go back to view and freeze panes and we'll unfreeze panes. Now we'll go back to view and freeze panes with B2 highlighted. That means anything to the left of B will stay put and anything above 2 will stay put. And as you can see now I can scroll through the students but I can also scroll to the right while maintaining the student ID. You may from time to time want to categorize your data visually by using colors. It's a very simple thing to do. You can highlight the, the cells that you want to change, go to the home tab and choose the cell color. The lighter colors will prevent obstructing your view of the labels. So here I've, I've highlighted homeworks one color, I'll highlight the quizzes another color, and I will highlight the exams a third color. Also you may want to uh, format the borders. For example, uh, we could put underlines underneath the headers. If you click here there are a whole bunch of border options including custom drawing of the borders, etc. Let's just put a real simple bottom border on our cells. I'll do it in another cell that's so it's more visible. And to undo it, you simply uh, select on no border. 
Also, um, if you like a format, you can move it around using the format paintbrush. Uh, if you don't like a change, you can always hit Control Z. To wrap things up, I would like to introduce for you the concept of worksheets. Down here at the bottom, there's a plus button, and this will allow you to add a worksheet. If this were a file drawer, this would be one file, and this would be a separate file, or think of it as another piece of paper in a notebook. You can always go back to your original sheet. Now, if you're going to work with multiple sheets, it, it makes sense to label them. By double-clicking on any worksheet, I can relabel it. Also, you can right-click on this in order to change the tab color. Excel makes copying and pasting really easy. If I hit Control Shift, hold both down and hit right and down, I will highlight all the data. Control C will copy the data. And then I'll place the cursor in A1 and hit Control V. And I've got my whole grade book moved into a new worksheet. Some of the formatting carried over, but our freeze panes did not. The main thing to remember in Excel is it's very user friendly. Um, if you want to do something particular, you can always use Google and the name of the Excel version you're using. But this has been my brief introduction on formatting and working with an Excel worksheet to make it user friendly.